Kumakon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji. And welcome to Kababayan Today. Mula sa Bayan Muna Party List, kasama natin mula sa House of Representatives, si Congressman Neri Colmenares para pag-usapan ng mga kaganapan sa ating gobyerno sa Pilipinas. Uh, kamusta po, Congressman? Mabuti naman po. Thank you. Uh, alam ko na kakagaling nyo lang galing sa Pilipinas. Kamusta naman ang Pilipinas sa ngayon? Well, uh, we just uh, escaped from a, a storm, a typhoon. Once again. Once again. But there are two typhoons coming over in the next lot, 24, 48 hours. So I hope they won't make landfall. If it makes landfall, then it's a bit difficult for our kababayans in the Philippines. Yes. Uh, we know that you campaigned and even filed resolutions uh, and bills against the pork barrel system. A lot of people have heard about this, yung PIDAF nga, di ba? Mm -hmm. Sa mga kababayan natin na hindi nakakaalam, paki-explain naman sa kanila ano ba itong People's Development Assistance Fund at bakit itong natatawag na pork barrel system? Well, ang pork barrel is, uh, ang definition niyan, even in the Supreme Court decision uh, recently, is defined as a public fund na kung saan ang nagdi-decision kung anong proyekto at sinong beneficiary o isang tao lang. Mm. So if that's the, that's the way a budget is spent, uh, ang unang result niyan is graft and corruption, of course. Kasi if walang all, checks and balances. Yes. If only one person decides where it will go, pipili ka kung anong proyekto, saan kalsada, sinong congressman yung bibigyan mo, o governor, o mayor, then may graft and corruption. And in the Napoli, scam, uh, ghost pa nga eh. I mean, walang kalsada talagang pinagawa, walang scholars na pinag-aral, walang pasyente na pinag-medical assistance. No? Mm -hmm. So, at the alam natin na meron na ngang mga sen senador that are behind bars yes, already. Yes, they were charged. No, but yes. the graft and corruption and the pork barrel is more pervasive than mere three senators. So, I guess there are still more people who need to be held to account for this. No, and the second impact, of course, of pork barrel. That's why it's bad. Is patronage politics. No, ibibigay mo yung pondo doon sa your favorite mayor who may not even need a school building, for example, kaysa sa doon sa mayor na kalaban mo, oh, even oh. if they need a school building. So, mm -hmm. taxes naman ng lahat to. This is where our tax uh, money goes. And many believe that that should not be the way uh, an item is, uh, a budgetary item is spent. No? Mm -hmm. So, um, dapat, the budget must be clear, must be itemized. For example, uh, 120 million pesos for uh, EDSA North Avenue repair up to EDSA Quezon Boulevard. Uh -oh. Itemize siya. At Kailangan least, transparent na makikita ng mga kababayan yes, kung saan nang gagaling yes. at saan pumupunta ang pera. Yes, kasi if it's that, then whether or not kalaban mo ang mayor ng Quezon City or kaibigan mo or aliado mo, doesn't matter. You okay. have to do it because the budget was approved by both houses of Congress. Right. And you have to do that. But pork barrel, you just put in, say, 20 billion pesos, repair of roads. Mm -hmm. Now, this time around, only one person will choose where the 20 billion goes because it's a lump sum. Mm. The moment you see lump sums in the budget, you be afraid. Be very, very afraid. <laughs> because now the person, will, the, the, the president usually, will say, oh, well, I want this given to my favorite mayor in Tarlac or, you know, my Surigao friend there who is a congressman or a senator. That's the evil of pork barrel. No? Only That's one right. person decides. That's right. But despite okay. the Supreme Court decision... Yes, uh, let's talk about that. The declaration of the Philippine Supreme Court uh, that the Priority Development Assistance Program, or yung tinatawag nga na PIDAF, and the Disbursement Acceleration Program, ang DAP, unconstitutional daw. Pero bakit may pork barrel pa rin? Yes. Well, actually, there are four kinds of pork barrel. Okay. The biggest, of course, is called the lump sum. It's a presidential pork barrel. It's the president dispenses with it. No? Wait, wait, wait. The president, Aquino, has his own pork barrel? All, all presidents have their own pork barrels. The moment you have a lump sum in the budget, the 20 billion pesos repair of roads, it's only the president who decides that. No congressman can decide where it goes because it's a national budget. Okay. Who spends the national budget? It's Malacanang. Oh, oh. That's the, the biggest. Yes. Uh, in, in our uh, research, uh, in the 2015 budget, at least 502 billion pesos are in lump sums. Alaga noon! Yes. The second largest would be the uh, off budget accounts. These are the lump sums that are not in the budget. So, when you say an off-budget account, it's a special account, let's say Malampaya Fund. It's not in the budget, it's in a special account, and only the president can open that account. Okay. And, you know, give it to 
Whoever. Whoever. Yes. The third is the, the DAP or mm -hmm. the savings. Right. You see, savings are, we, we're happy that there are savings, but under our rules, you can realign the savings once it's a saving. So okay. there are some governments who what they do is they bloat the budget. For example, the SWD needs 100 billion pesos. You make it 150 billion pesos. At the end of the year, it's 50 billion pesos in savings. Yes. Now you can realign it. So it now falls into the definition of pork barrel, which is a public fund where only one person has the discretion where it goes and who the beneficiaries are. Mm -hmm. And that was 142 billion pesos. These numbers are astounding, Congressman. My question is, what are you doing about it? Yes. <laughs> Kayo, well, ano pong ginagawa ninyo to, to sort of absolve this? I yes. mean, it seems like uh, it's way above everybody's head. But just to want to point out, the last smallest part of pork barrel is PIDAF. It's yes. 25 billion pesos for the congressman and the senator. So actually, you were referring to the smallest yes. pork barrel. Yes, yes. And the next question is, I, we thought the Supreme Court disallowed it. So is there still pork in the budget? Yes. In the 2015 budget, there's pork barrel, and I'm sure 2016 is an election year, there will be pork barrel. So what are we going to do about it? I filed a bill in Congress to abolish the pork barrel system, but I have to be frank with you, G, there is no way it will pass because? in Congress. Because many congressmen and senators don't want to pass a bill that says pork barrel must be abolished. Because they will lose money. Okay, this is yeah. very interesting, mga kababayan, kung nanonood po kayo. Magbabalik po kami. We're just going to break. Pagbalik natin, kasama pa rin natin si Congressman Colmenares. Don't go away.